Whitehaven line up well, uh, once more. It's Jovi Romeo at full back. Callum, uh, Callum Shaw and Mac Walsh on the wings. Rio Corkill and Curtis Tia in the centres. Sam Ackroyd and Lachlan Hannigan in at half back. Lucas Castle and Ross Ailey at props. James Newton at Hawker. Ryan King and Owen McCannon at second rowers with Hugh Worthington at loose forward. Will Evans is on the bench. It will be Dewsbury to get the game underway. Whitehaven have had their kickoff issues, of course, this season. They'll be hoping they're not to have another in the uh, early stages here with what is a windy afternoon. Our man in the middle this afternoon is Warren Turley. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports Online. We are underway. He's just going to hold up in the wind. It's going to be collected on the full by Sam Ackroyd on his debut. And Lucas Castle is the man to run it forward. And it's a powerful run from the Australian. He makes it to it just over the Dewsbury 20. Seven, eight metres out. Newton comes left now into the hands of Ackroyd. Number nine on his back. But he's going to be taken down. The Bradford Bulls low knee. Going to look to go down the short side with Curtis T. There's nowhere for T's to go. So comes back in, but nearly finds a gap there. Curtis T is over, and it's going to be a penalty for obstruction. T a look to be over for what would have been his sixth try of the season for the former Watt Brown man. The referee, Warren Turley, pulls it for obstruction. Seven and a half on the clock. He'll be playing on one foot. His foot was still in a boot. 10 days ago yeah well he's, uh, he's obviously put his hand up and said he's, yeah. uh, he's available and fit and yeah. uh, let's see how long it lasts yeah let's see how long it lasts whether it's just 5-6 minute spells maybe you know to spell the props we'll have to wait and see but Newton goes right finds Hannigan Hannigan throws a dummy and we're going to be over in that right hand side corner Whitehaven get the first try of the afternoon here just after the opening 20 minutes here on, at the Flair Stadium Lachlan Hannigan with the show and go and gone over and put the ball down in this right hand side corner we said it would be if, and it would be the shock of all shocks. Whitehaven have started and got the first try of the afternoon here in uh, in West Yorkshire. Lachlan Hannigan with his ninth for the season. Jewsbury nil, Whitehaven four. Resigned early doors. Paul March took over, and I don't think he was expecting to be playing this season, or not an awful lot anyways. Hannigan, with the conversion, goes across the front of the post, so it remains here at the Flair Stadium. 22 and a half minutes on the clock, Jewsbury nil. Haven 4, BBC Radio, Cumbria Sports Online. You know, Dewsbury have spread the ball wide a few times, and for me, they've, they've gone wide too early. They've, they need to, as I say, they need to tie up that middle and really work the Haven forwards hard and, and, and reap the rewards later on. Hugh Worthington, he's only two or three metres short, comes left into the hands of Owen McCadden. McCadden, he's got that ball down as Owen oh, McCadden. It's back-to-back back -to -back tries for Whitehaven. Fantastic, the fans go crazy behind the sticks here at the Flair Stadium. It's Jewsbury nil, it's Whitehaven eight, and it's Owen McCarran's third of the season, just into the 25th minute. It's 8 nil to Haven. Whilst they've got that wind at the back, and Jewsbury are doing everything they can to keep him in the game from the from the, the poor end to the sets that Paul Sykes had at one end and giving a penalty away, and then kicking the ball straight off and restart. So I think there's one thing you can guarantee. I don't think that ball will be going anywhere near the touchline this time. Now the man to fetch it forward. Newton's in there, Castle's in there. Davis wants more in at dummy half. Jacob Hookham's going to put it down. It's blocked by Owen McCadden. If McCadden can collect it, he should be in. Owen McCadden looking to get back inside. He's wrapped up 10 metres out. We've seen that so often and it doesn't really, it very rarely comes off for him. Owen McCadden, but it's come off for him there. And Whitehaven is starting, he's 10 metres out. Mac Walsh is now the man looking to try and get his cell over there. The Toulouse loan in. Mac Walsh, he's got that ball down. As Mac Walsh. Coming from Toulouse Olympic only a few weeks ago, and it's his first try in a Whitehaven shirt. It's Dewsbury nil, Whitehaven 14, and huge raps has to go to Owen McCannon for the charge down. It's finally come off for him. He's limping away there. That's not something Whitehaven will want to see. Walsh gets his first try in a Whitehaven shirt just under five minutes till half time. Haven have a 14 point lead. Yeah. Oldham 72, Cornwall nil full time. Clock stopped. Keefley 10, Hunslet 10. Rochdale 6, North Wales 4, Workington 24, Newcastle 0. Lachlan Hannigan adds on the extras. Whitehaven have a 16-point advantage here at the Flair Stadium. BBC Radio, Cumbria Sports Online. Castle makes it, what, 10, 12 metres before being taken down there. Good work from the Australian. Newton back into the middle now with Callum Shaw in up the opposite wing and Dale Ferguson could have just about murdered, and I mean murdered, Callum Shaw. And Ooh. we've got an absolute stoppage Ooh. here. Could that, Dale that, Ferguson see red? Could yeah, Dale Ferguson that, see red? That wasn't pretty. That, that wasn't, wasn't pretty, pretty no, at he's, all. He's, 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 he's sort of come across him and he's... He's gone. Dale Ferguson's gone. That's a red card. And Jewsbury will play the rest of this game with 12 players. He caught Callum Shaw high. There's no mitigation, says referee Warren Turley. And with two and a half minutes till the half-time hooter, Jewsbury will finish his game with 12 men. What are you doing? 
Oh. And they're going to be saved by the Hooter here at the Flair Stadium. You can hear the boos around us. And I'm, Matt Bromwell, you can't be surprised at all, but it's half time here at the Flair Stadium. A couple of tackles left. Davis goes right. Hook him. And comes across, which wasn't the best pass to Matt Garside. Garside then gets the offload away, goes, does go backwards, says it's a fresh set of six, says it comes off a Whitehaven hand, not what Whitehaven will have wanted. And Billy O'Connor, Billy O'Connor, short his spade there to Billy O'Connor, we've just said he's the danger man, and in the 50, just tick over into the 52nd minute here at the Flair Stadium, the home side get their first point on the board, it's Jews before Haven 16. Experienced head, of course. Former England international, spent plenty of time in Super League with Paul Sykes. And that kick isn't on target, however, and falls to the left hand side post. So it remains just before Haven 16. And this would be their most famous day. Lachlan Hannigan looking to put the kick in, it's just going to go along the floor. They'll be happy to see it if it goes dead, it doesn't. Bailey O'Connor collects it, Petty Whiteley then is the man to fetch it forward, but they'll be happy that they're able to pin Petty Whiteley behind his own 10 metres there, Worthen and Hannigan and Corkill all involved, Matt Bramold. Hannigan's been massive defensively, like you don't expect Oh, this could be a penalty for Whitehaven, Petty Whiteley has seen, con Petty Whiteley's seen red, Petty Whiteley has seen red, and it should be a penalty to Whitehaven, and James Newton straight away, captain's head on, says two points, yes James, knock it over, with an opportunity to make it, Back into a three score advantage. Currently 12 points, two converted tries. Need at least three tries if they're to get anything from this game. If Hannigan knocks this over, and he does, it's Juice before, it's Whitehaven 18. BBC Radio Cumbria Sport Online. Hannigan three from four with the boot. The way they've been working hard, you won't put it past them just to be able to repel this Jewsbury attack. Ball comes left from the scrum, Sykes. He's got over there, he's, he's, yes he has, it is Jack Billington who's in for his first try of the season. Jewsbury score their second of the afternoon. Jewsbury 8, Haven 18. Yeah. Halifax 6, Wakefield 24, Widnes 35, Sheffield 16. York Knights 26, Botley 6, down into League 1, 72 nil. it finished to Oldham. Sykes adds on the extras, it's Jewsbury 10, Haven 18, it's Keepley 24, Hunslet 10. Right in and around the halfway line. Comes left into the hands of Elliot Morris. I make it within the final 10 seconds, yet again, not official and fantastic work from Whitehaven. They're acting like they're in the first five minutes. We're in the hands of the timekeeper. Sykes comes out the back of the car. Car's looking to put it forward. There's the hooter! History, and I repeat, history has been made. Whitehaven, after one of the worst weeks in existence, Tuesday they didn't have a team it was only announced Thursday night this side would come down and play Carl Amone and 15 players they've come with 14 and it's Jewsbury Rams 10 Whitehaven 18 could that be the catalyst for Whitehaven to survive in the championship it does mean Jewsbury Rams are relegated to League One but it's all about and let's say again it's all about the 14 players that have taken the field out there this afternoon Joey Romeo, Callum Shaw, Rio Corkill, Curtis Tia, Mark Walsh, Sam Ackroyd, Lachlan Hannigan, Lucas Castle, James Newton, Ross Ainley, Ryan King, Owen McCarran, Hugh Worthington and Will Evans, them names have just gone literally into Whitehaven history.